Here is an application of cross product. We are trying to find area of a triangle. The question is, the points A, B and C form a triangle of area square root 6. Determine the values of K for which this is true. So we are given three points and we need to, and we are also given area of a triangle. And we need to find one value K. So point C is actually not defined. So we don't know what k is and we need to find this value of k which will result into a triangle with an area of square root of 6. So let's make a rough sketch and when I say rough sketch I'm not really interested in knowing where exactly a, b, c are. But it helps me to organize uh, and do the need food. So point a for us is 1, 0, 2 and point b is 2, 0, 1 and point C is 1, 2 and K. Now we need to find what the sides are. So for, let us say what is AB equals to. So from here AB is equals to 2 minus 1, right, which is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. And similarly what is AC equals to? So AC will be C is 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2, and k minus 2. So that is AC equals 2. When we are saying area of a triangle, then what is area of triangle equals to? Area of triangle is equals to half of cross product of AB and AC, magnitude of AB cross AC, right? If you do AB cross AC, you get area of a parallelogram, which will be kind of twice this. Do you see that? We are interested in area of triangle, which is half of that. So that is a point to be understood. Now in this particular equation, we are actually given area of this triangle, and that is square root of 6, right? So half of this cross product is actually equals to square root of 6. So we know square root of 6 is equals to all this, I can multiply this by 2 here and then say this is equals to magnitude of AB cross magnitude of AC. Correct? So that becomes our equation. Now we have to find what is AB cross AC equals to. So let's do that. Now we will follow our cross product method. That is we will write these numbers in this form. That is 0, we will start with the center, 0, minus 1. 1 end with that center number 2 k minus 2 0 2 right so when you do this then what you, what we are trying to do here is we multiply in this direction right these we multiply with positive sign and then we take away these and get our ijk values correct so so let's do that so we have ab cross ac so let me write down this things very clearly here right so we get ab cross ac as equals to so i component is let me write in brackets so i component is zero times anything is zero minus this which is 2 and j component is minus 1 times 0 is 0 so 0 minus of this term which is minus of k minus 2 okay and the j this is j component and the k component is 2 minus 0 so 2 so that becomes your ijk components the magnitude of this will be how much magnitude of ab cross ac will be square root of this square which is 4 so let me write this as 2 square plus this is minus k minus 2 so let me write minus k minus 2 minus k minus 2 whole square plus 2 square square root let's expand it. So we get square root of 2 square is 4 plus minus square is positive. So we get k square minus 2ab which is 4k plus 
2 square which is 4 plus 2 square which is 4 square root. So this gives us a value. We have 12 square root of plus k square minus 4k. Right? So that is AB cross AC. So we can substitute here and then solve further. So we get here 2 times square root of 6 is equals to square root of so I'll write k square first minus 4k plus 12 square. Now we can square both sides to solve for k. So we get 4 times 6 equals to k square minus 4k plus 12. And let's reorganize to solve for k. Correct? So when we reorganize we get k square minus 4k plus 12 and this is 24. It gives me minus 12 equals to 0. Correct? I hope you understand. This is 24, right? So I am taking it on this side. So I am writing 0 equals to k square minus 4k plus 12 minus 24. Correct? So we get this. Now we can factor this to get our answer. So 12 is and we have to get number 4. 6 times 2, right? We can use minus 6 and plus 2. So minus 6 times k plus 2 equals to 0. So the two values of k which satisfy this are k equals to 6 or k equals to minus 2. Do you understand? So that is how we get two values of k. So that is our answer. So our answer is that k equals to minus 2 or 6 for this particular question. I hope you understand the method. It is when you are given three points, find equation of the sides of the triangle, cross product, half of cross product will give you area, equate that area to the given area and solve for the unknown k value. So that is how it is to be done. Thank you and all the best.